Hey, I'm Salwan from JDM Motorsport. We're here in Brisbane, Australia. Brody from JDM Motorsport here in Brisbane, Australia. <laughs> Um, we started in 2015 uh, in a very small shop here in Brisbane. Uh, it was just myself to start with. Um, yeah, worked along pretty slowly and then we had some good growth. Broads came on board um, and we just we worked through the team, progressed our processes. And um, here we are now with a team of seven. Um, we pretty much, we're quite broad range. We pretty much specialise in the like the JDM, the Japanese domestic market family, all the hero cars of our times, you know, like the, the FD RX-7, the Supras, Skyline, you know, all that sort of family of stuff. I feel incredibly privileged for the customers that we have. We spend a lot of time working with the outcome of the build, like expectations, you know, making sure it all aligns, like the car at the end of the day, the product that comes out the shop is what we've spoken about, you know, and, and we're kind of over and over delivering what what they're after so i think transparency things like that are really important throughout the build process you know this is a lot of time and money and you know i think that stuff aligns for a great relationship with with our customers um for me it starts from way back back when i was really young like 19 in new zealand i had a 32 skyline and ironically it had a really early link plug-in in it and the gentleman that was tuning that car at that time i would have been a customer you know, this is way back in the Birmingham drive days, but since now knowing the history of it, you know, that gentleman was involved in the early days with the Link ECU stuff, and that's clearly where my passion started. And ever since then, moving to Australia, I've always been quite partial to the brand and really what they're about. Coming in from another shop um, who didn't use Link ECU as a product, um, yeah, I was kind of transitioning from somewhere else, and. Um, yeah, I find myself really enjoying the product, um, the usability of it, the functions of it. Um, and yeah, it's most definitely my ACU of choice. And we, we really frequently do wiring harnesses. Every single week we're either manufacturing something, whether it be like a plug-in, a lot of sub-harness, patch harness expansion stuff, or you know, with a lot of our build work, we're gutting everything out of the car and redoing the entire harness, you know, as in engine harnesses, body harnesses. And we find that, you know, the user definedness of the product, of the Link ECU stuff, is really where we excel with it. It's, you can get real in depth with, with what's going on. Um, you know, I really like the CAN bus integration and how we can manipulate and write those CAN bus streams. It's really a powerful tool in this day and age. You know, it's easy to start with talking about the ECU. It's, it's the heart of it all, but you're right, it does come together with sensors, you know, with the sensors, the management, the data acquisition, it, it all stacks together. So really that package, you know, has to be brought together in a, in a good form and Link offers some great products to bring that together as a family and a hub. Yeah, I think just the integration across all the systems on the car. So we find ourselves using in almost every car now a PDM. So integrating the PDM to the ECU, to uh, dashes, um, yeah, over the CAN bus we find that we can integrate a lot of that together. All of this, you know, all these products are amazing products. They have to be brought together within firmware and software and, you know, Link offer a great product that we can expand really, really user-defined, you know. It's, it's easy to just look at a, a product and sensors and not understand what they do, but, you know, what, what happens in the background and all the work of engineers and stuff like that is, um, you know, when we bring those products together with making wiring harnesses and joining it all around, as, you know, resellers and tuners and setting them up in config, you know, it's, it's quite endless on what we can create with the Link ECU product. When you take an example of a 1974 Corolla that has cruise control and traction control and um, like all those later model functions, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool when you can do that kind of stuff. Yeah, and even integrating the PDMs into it of like having things pop up on the dash when you select a function on the PDM, like it's pretty cool. I think the fundamentals of tuning and set up, setting up a car, are, you know, have to be strong in the in the software and the firmware, and that is, I think, you know, how the software is laid out, 
How the ECU configures is, is a real strong point. We're definitely big fans of it. You know, the data logging acquisition side of things is fantastic. Um, and really that stuff then can stem out to, you know, where we align with the things that the customer likes, you know, whether it be a really, I don't know, lumpy idle or something like that. It, it doesn't mean you have to have all the dollars spent on the camshafts. We can manipulate some of those things and make, make the outcome be more enjoyable of the sound. But, you know, the, the backstop is, is the, you know, it has to be set up correctly and those functions are, are just at our fingertips. It's, it works really well. The configurability of all the functions. So if you can think of something you want to do on it, you can do it. Yeah, Dan's a, a long-term friend of mine and obviously that's then expanded into the, the bigger family of, of the Link team and it's, you know, it's a privilege to be, to be working with them. I think, you know, you're right, it, it, it stems down the process of um, obviously the Link side of things with development and then also as for resellers, dealers, right down to the end user being the customer who really is the most important person out of it. And connecting all those chain events is we find it's quite seamless you know they have an amazing tech support that's worldwide covered um, you know really if there's an issue you can make contact with them go through your issues and not only with the link support but they're good people you know they offer great advice they've all had their journey and brought together in that team so you know you might be talking about a you know a link config that we're struggling with and they're happy to assist and we get the end result out of it but they also can help you in, in multiple ways as a as a workshop you know to, to grow with what we need to do. So yeah, I think the family side of things is great. It's great seeing them at the track. Uh, we're fortunate enough that they're just not too far up the road. So it's always good to see some friendly faces and say day to them. Uh, I think, you know, everyone wants to have continued growth and, and grow their brand and, you know, their team members. Uh, the customers and the team members are, are so important to this whole structure. You know, for us, we don't want to be the biggest shop. You know, we just want to be quality and you know, with the Linkies to you, that ties right in with our brand and what we do. It's about, you know, being very functional, saying what we, you know, doing what we say, and as we go through that journey with the customer, that end result is exactly what we predict it to be and, and how it comes out, you know. So I think growing our team and having key people in that area is pretty important. Um, you know, as we've all grown in Excel, you know, we move up the ladder and change our style of work, and then we need to bring younger generations um, to come in and, and, and replace us and train on, on that side of things, don't you feel? Well, there's a bit of a project. I always wanted a Corolla wagon. Um, bought the number plates, KE26, before I even had the car. So I was committed to, to getting one. Um, and a friend of mine actually had a 13B turbo in his KE20. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, so I found myself going down the rotary route. Um, so bought the car. Did the conversion, started off as a pretty basic 3rd MB turbo, um, manual, still good stuff. It's got a Link Fury in it, uh, Hilux diff, all that kind of stuff. And then as it progressed, um, ended up putting an auto in it, twin turboing it, um, and yeah, it's just It's pretty cool, for ending. like an old car, like we put a yeah. lot of effort into it. It's drive-by wire like all the pressure sensor stuff, front and rear track, like front and rear wheel speed, yeah. you know, closed loop lambda, and you know, the rotary side of tunings is, is unique on its own. Well, it's not un unique, it's just very different. So, you know, going through those processes and like, it's an old car, but you can get in it and key it straight away, like from cold start. It's really, really cool, you know, like not a lot of rotors, you bang in your hand through the window and start the engine and it just sits there and runs. Like, it's pretty cool to spend that time to setting all that stuff up, eh? Mm. And like, it's it's good fun. Yeah, it is good fun. Eight hundred kilo or something. When yeah. we when we had it dynoed last, it was what mid four hundreds. Yeah, it was like mid four hundreds. And it's at like thirty four now, so it's it's pretty fun. Like, yeah. it, it boogies for sure, you know. Yeah. <laughs>